What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, Jabbertron? Ooh, have y'all been? I got a few updates. I've been gone for a while, but y'all hear my little booger? I thought he was going to say something. But y'all hear Alonzo on the back. Um, oh, y'all, excuse my eye. Let me tell y'all. Oh, man. Let me tell y'all about my eye, right? Y'all see this? Right here. That. I was lifting up on the refrigerator. And I was trying to, like, squat down, put stuff in the, what's the name? Like, in the refrigerator. And when I was trying to stand up, I was so close to the refrigerator, not thinking, like the freezer part. And it was like a little L, and it scraped down my face. And now this happened like two, two weeks ago. And I'm, but I do have some, I've been using this right here on my face little shea butter it's African shea butter oh man <laughs> oh man so oh, yeah I've been man. using this yeah, on my yeah, face yeah, and I've just yeah, been rubbing it in like this yeah, 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 yeah. my mom says like warm it like supposed to warm it with me I was like <laughs> like I said, what's up what's up what's up i hope y'all having a great day and y'all know how i like my stuff raw and uncut but we sitting in line and, uh oh hey yo oh excuse me oh mama y'all thank you so much you have a great day Well, we can already get a salad. We just had to grab something real quick. We got up this morning, went to a parade for Labor Day. Let me share. I hope I hope this right here. Yes, we got some. Oh. Um, I kind of my man. I kind of like started. Where I didn't wear a mask, like I wore a mask, but like out in public and stuff. But now, hold on, guys. Hey man. All right, here, Lonzo. Amen. Bless your food. Amen. Amen. Here you go. Here's some more. He said, God is great. Amen. <laughs> That's my baby. But, um, yo, let me, hold on. I gotta find my tripod. I'm looking like, I am trying to get back to vlogging uh, uh start hold on y'all i'll be right back all right i'm back y'all she told you how to find my tripod but mama 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 oh can't say no more for it, so I don't know. But I hope you're having a great day. I have literally had I, I got story time. Actually, I'm not even gonna say it's a story time. I'm just gonna tell y'all right now. Right now, let's see. I know I've been gone. I've been wanting to do this more. Um and I wanted to do a lot of things with uh my son. And last week I've been at a job. 
I know last time I spoke with y'all about a job, I was like, I love my job, I love my job. Um, but I just wasn't getting paid in enough where I was financially stable, but also, uh, you know, where I was able to pay my bills and things like that and things came up. So what I did was like, oh, well, I received a better opportunity at a job that, um, Perfect. I was at a job that um, I had. Sorry, yeah. I was at a job that um, I just needed more money um, to help pay for things that were going on in my household. Um, not even household, just like to pay my bills so I could be financially able, be able to you know afford food as well as pay my bills, and I wouldn't have to struggle. Um, and then I had received a job opportunity and we were kind of going back and forth about the job and, you know, um, if it was needed and things like that. Well, fast forward to recently, um, I got fired and the state that I live in, um, I had a board president and, um, someone else come in and fire me and they would not tell me what I actually got fired for um they said well Kentucky is no uh Kentucky is an at will state so regardless if it's western Kentucky eastern Kentucky wherever if you're working in Kentucky and you can live in Ohio but if you're crossing over to from Ohio to Kentucky, it's a fire at will. Because so Kentucky is a fire at will state. So uh, just like if you're in Tennessee and you're working in Kentucky uh, or uh, Missouri working in Kentucky. I know a lot of people um, do that. But just with that, I got fired, right? Um, until... I, I asked questions and they kind of didn't really didn't want me. You could tell that they didn't want me to ask questions of why. Um, and they got to saying, like, parents were complaining. Um, let's see. They said that my leadership style wasn't up to par. Um, and things I haven't completed, things. But things that they were saying, I've never had a parent come to me and I've always respected parents no matter how much they um you know very rude I've dealt with them in a professional most of a professional way um I've dealt with when I have conversations with them confidentiality is there um and it's a bunch of stuff but we had uh, someone come in. Our CEO got fired. Then they had an acting CEO in my job come in, and there was someone who else works in the works in the place. And when I say, I already knew when they fired the CEO, and we had like a round table. We wasn't a round table. It was like a round circle, ch- circle chairs, where we're having conversations and. Ultimate, well, I say ultimately, the uh, it was a person in there, program coordinator, was over speaking a lot of things. Um, and it was one parent, and now that I think about it, it probably was a parent that complained, which was the parent or the parent who worked at the job complaining. Sally, Sally complained, and so now it's saying, Oh, what well, parents are complaining? Every parent that has also that has complained has also came to me and said well I didn't like the way you handled this or uh, I apologize that I went and spoke to somebody that ended up getting you in trouble so it's a lot of back and forth that was going on um, it was even to the point where it was like different. I don't know if y'all have ever had one of these little shirts y'all and it is itchy but there's a lot of stuff going on so I was fired and Friday, but with me, I'm okay with it. I'm happy. I'm happy. A weight's been lifted off of my shoulders. Um, I hate like the national level. I had I w- I've been working close with the national level 
Um, and they skyrocket, like, up from here. Like, they have been crying about it. And they have been so apologetic to me. Um, this is national level of where I'm working. Like, corporate. Um, I've had board members come in and cry. Like, they are so sorry. They've told me how much they are proud of me. And I told them, don't be sad. Just like my employees, I told them, don't be sad. It is okay. I'm okay. Do not be sad of what is going on. Don't be hurt. Don't be upset at what was going on. Um, because at the end of the day, um, I'm happy. I get to spend time, more time with my son. Um, it's a lot of things that I have to do personally. Uh, but the type of person I am, I'm back on YouTube. I, you know, I'm trying to get my subs up. I'm trying to get my... Um, I'm trying to get my weight up. <laughs> trying to get my subs up. Trying to get my views up. And hopefully y'all y'all comment on what y'all want to see. Because I'm... I always got a plan B, plan A, plan B, plan C, you know? Um, I'm happy that I'm no longer at that job just because it was so much, like, deformation in that club, in that facility. Um, but it's crazy, let me tell you, as soon as I got fired within three to four hours, I've had a law firm offer me a job. I've had... Uh, my old job called me back. And I know before, I was like, oh, my goodness, my old job. Like, well, I'm sorry I got y'all bouncing. I'm like, I, I know. And I humbled myself because as I, farther along that I have stayed at this job, I literally humbled myself and realized how much I love my other job. May, they may not have been paying me well, but, you know, it was the ups and downs. You have good supervisors. You have bad supervisors. But at the end of the day, at my old job, I humbled myself of what I actually um, went through. And I haven't even, at this old job, when I say I have not, not taken a vacation, never taken a vacation. I've been there one year, August 12th. It's been a year. Um, and I'm never taking a vacation. Time that I've taken off was like a holiday or when my child was sick. And I, I even when my child was sick, I was like, you're going to pay me or you're not going to pay me. I'm going to take off regardless, you know. But when I say it was just like. What, what would I have, like, even, like, a mental health day? Or not even mental health day. Like, when can I have a personal day? Wasn't no personal days. Wasn't no mental health days at this job. It wasn't no perks. Like, insurance-wise. They didn't pay for insurance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. But... Um, and I only got paid like three more dollars than my old job. And when I say my old job, every pay period, every pay period, I got like six hours of, um, what do you call it? I got like six hours of pay time off. And then we had one free, well, a free floating holiday, uh, and when I say this floating holiday, like it was any holiday besides like the major holidays, like Labor Day, it was automatically taken off. But like, say for instance, Easter Sunday or Easter Friday, well, Good Friday, if I wanted to take off, I could take off, right? Because I had a floating holiday. They didn't give us anything from this job. Like I literally had to work a year like, bust my butt for a year before I even got something that was, uh, you know, I even got any type of vacation. 
Like, I had a lot of transitions in my life and my family's life where I was just like, hey, look, I need to go and spend time with my family. Um, I'm missing my family. Like, I was, I barely had, like, any family time. But as a full-time supervisor, I didn't get any of the perks. Whenever my part-time staff would take off, they took off, no pay. But they got to take off. Me, I couldn't take off. Because I knew I wouldn't, I mean, but they were part-time and they knew when they were coming in, we worked on a certain school schedule. We worked on the city schedule. We worked on, like, I don't know. It it was just a lot that was going on. And uh, whenever they fired me, I said, God, answer my prayers. And they just looked at me. And I told them, I prayed. And I said, Lord, if this isn't for me, please remove it out of my life. Or just remove it from, remove me from the situation. And I did just that. Answered my prayers. Um, because God know this right here, where I was at, where I was working, that's about to be a whole 360 change. And people, they may not like it. Uh, they even told me that I couldn't tell my employees I was fired. Who? Oh, you can't tell me nothing. You don't, you fire me. You no longer have the right to say whatever. I can and cannot tell employees, like, especially employees that I speak to outside of this organization, you can't tell me that I can. So I've told most of my employees that I fired, I mean, I've been fired, but they're all shocked, which they're not shocked, <laughs> but they're all shocked and um, they, they're they shocked because it was me getting fired, but they're not shocked by how I got fired. Like I said, it was, it really, and I, I had to basically pull it out of them to tell me, like, why I got fired. Hmm. But I'm happy. I'm happy I get to spend days with my son. I get to help potty train him. I get to um, do more vlogs, YouTube. Um but I also told, I've called staff and stuff, and I've told them, like, hey, y'all do not quit. Don't quit. Keep doing it. Push it for the kids. Like, pushing for the members. Pushing for, do it for the uh, teens and the older people. Like, do it for, like, do not give up. Don't quit. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Like, do what's right. Don't let nobody. And that's another thing. I wouldn't let nobody run me over. So that's why they just had to find small things. Like, one of them was like, oh, you didn't do scheduling. I didn't do scheduling. I did a whole month. Like, what's the point? I, you, I, They already, literally, when I say they complained, the smallest things. When I say they complained about getting me some ink. Oh, they, about getting me some ink. Like, who does that for my printer? You purchased a printer before I got here. You knew it was $300 for ink anyway. So what is your complaint? But when, to the point where I was like, well, it's easier for me just to do a whole month schedule, which I done a schedule, had a staff meeting, gave everybody all the information that they needed. Like, it's to the point where I hope staff do not leave. And it's not like four or five staff, but you know, hey, it is what it is. But you can't do bad. You cannot do bad and expect to do it. Y'all see this fly keep flying in here. Me and the fly don't have problems. Go, 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 go. He went out. But I'm about to start. Get back on here. And we're going to work, 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 work. At the end of the day, guess what? God is at the head of my life. Period. I'm sorry. I mean, oh, if anybody believes different, you know, um, my Lord Savior Jesus Christ is—he's ahead of my life. Uh, manifesting it. 
manifesting greatness. Um, and I said, hopefully I can get people, you know, my subs up. I can do whatever, you know, take classes. If people are offering it, like showing things how to get YouTube started. I kind of know, if y'all looked at some of my videos when I had some downtime, uh, like some of them I say I, I, would, I would not edit. But the edit part would, I would add, like, at the end of my video, I would add, like, a, my old video, like, previous video, uh, my last two previous video, or at least one previous video in it. So, I know those kind of steps, but as far as editing, y'all know how I say I like my stuff raw and uncut, and, um, it's gonna go up from here. So, um, uh, I think that job, but... Like I told them, it was a weight lifted out for me. I hope all employees stay there and they continue to do what they need to do. And um, I, I hope that, you know, truth always comes to light. Because it was to a point where employees were saying, I stole washer and dryers, honey. I ain't stole nothing. I ain't, I don't, I can barely get a basketball goal to my home. Like, I have to pay people to put, use a truck. I don't have a truck. I have a car. Like, I have to pay people to, like, I, one day, for, I mean, for Father's Day, we got a grill. I had to pay somebody. Like, so, you think I'm about to take the time of the day and pay somebody to pull, use, hook up a washer and dryer and pull the washer and dryer? Like, to the point, like, the executive assistant, she was telling her son that I was stealing stuff. Like, washer and dryers. All kinds of stuff. Girl honey but uh god knew what he was doing god know i'm not a messy person i'm not really that type of person that stay in drama that love drama so god he made a way and like i said i prayed for it and god answered my prayers and i'm glad um i feel no type of way i feel no hurt no harm um I do actually, I do feel hurt that employees said things that they was that was being said that were not true and it was dishonest. Like one employee, um, the CEO and executive assistant, they got some. Um, they offered, they paid for gas for one of the employees, and the executive assistant going around saying that I'm the one that did it. Honey, that card, that gas card, never came to me. It never oh, came. No. It never. It's never been in my hands. If it's in my hands, it's. Go pay for the truck, or like the vehicles, gas for the vehicles. But I've never gave an employee a card to fill up their gas tank. It was it was the CEO and executive assistant who did that. I said it was a good idea, but I never done it myself. So, but you know, when they say misery loves company, well, guess I ain't miserable because uh, guess what? I ain't in nobody's. I'm nobody's company. <laughs> But alright y'all, it's a lot of stuff. I'm sorry, I just wanted to get out here and tell y'all I'm coming back and I want y'all to listen to this if y'all will and I'll do a part two and part one, part two, part three. This is part one, half a part two one and me telling y'all I'm coming back. But again, if y'all want part two, y'all want part three, we can rock and roll and we can have these conversations. We can have even like to a point where it got so bad where I was like any conversation that I had with anybody, whether it was a staff, whether it's a manage someone of management uh any of that it got bad and uh it was recordings girl honey horrible but like i said jab squad jab team mama jab baby jab back here we about to rock and roll we about to have a bunch of uh videos um i'm about to show y'all a couple of things with learning tools that i use with alonzo zo <laughs> he's throwing fries in the back but because i'm I gotta go feed him some food uh we had crap last night so but anyways i'm about to show y'all how different learning tools potty training um because i know and things that i put down like toys and stuff and uh gadgets that i have for uh zo it's cool Look, he's throwing. I don't know if y'all see fries. But just sorry. Look, look y'all. Watch. Look. <laughs> he's throwing fries now. But, um, we about to, it's up. It's up and stuck. And I'm trying. I'm going to try my best to keep this consistent. Um, 
<laughs> or tablet. But it's up from here, y'all. Have a great day. I appreciate y'all. Um, y'all stay along for the ride with me. Uh, and I hope y'all have a great day. See y'all later. Bye. What are you doing? Trying to get out? I hear him. He's ready to get out. So I'm about to get on out of here. I've been on here for 25 minutes. So y'all have a great one. Bye, y'all. Peace.